Hi guys, it's Ophinian Sakal here today with the Ascension update for July 2019. We are cosmic shamans and teachers of universal consciousness. The energies for July 2019, beautiful energies we've been receiving quite uh, simple yet very powerful messages of following the course opening yourself up to receive and so there is a lot of ascension energies coming in and how they've shown them as um, very micro type uh, divine dust is what they're showing me so to open your heart open your arms every day a little bit like going out into the sunshine sort of you know singing in the mountains type style <laughs> this is how they're they're showing it to just really open and just receive the light from the universe that is flowing in receive the divine dust into your cells into your dna it's coming every single day they're saying and so to allow openness every day no matter what's going on how you're feeling etc to do the process of opening and receiving uh no matter what state you're in again they they it's it's really about you will receive if you command it if you if you intend it and so you know every day when you do your pill or even throughout your day you're busy out and about or whatever just expand and open and receive you know maybe sometimes when you really need to just arms out and open uh, palms up and just feel the sunlight just fill you up whether whether you're in the presence of the sun or not just open yourself up and and receive and you will truly feel it it will feel like you are being filled up like a uh, with water just uh, liquid light just absolutely filling up your whole being very divine energy you know, where June was really about sitting on that flow and, you know, being very fine tuned to openings in the field, opportunities and having different, you know, things to move through, different experiences to have, different things to manifest and create. These energies of July feel a lot more clear as in they are moving you forward. They're almost like you're in a sort of a very large hallway um, and you're moving forward at the pace that is set by the field and by your presence. And it's all about you lining up with the right flow. So if you feel you're not fully aligned with the flow moving forward, readjust your compass a little bit so you keep moving, for instance, north. And they're saying it's very important not to feel claustrophobic by this having to stay still sort of in the movement of the energies because it's kind of like surrendering to moving forward with it there's not a lot of openings in the field that simply keep moving forward in your divine flow with all of the other creators in the field and what's very important is to feel this light coming into this very large hallway so you feel bright and you feel happy and you feel alert with it you don't feel claustrophobic and stuck in it that you can't move back or forward or to the left or to the right but once you align, so it's about finding your alignment and then settling into it and keep yourself moving forward with it. Just let the energies move you forward because these are the energies from your presence. If you feel misaligned or you even feel you're going against the flow of your presence, then realign yourself, move yourself through whatever is in your way, whatever blocks there are. And then if you need to do a full 180 turn to flow with the direction spirit is guiding you, do so. Because this will allow you to flow in your highest possible timelines as you move with the guidance from spirit and your support teams. Yeah, they were showing the hall as a, as a massive, you know, horizontal elevator, a lift. So you are moving, it's just more of a structured moving uh, and to, it's a little bit like a gathering of your energies and that's why there's so much receiving, receiving of this cosmic dust, receiving of this light that's coming in and so to know 
that the lower mind again may see things a certain way however to just keep opening up opening up opening up and keep trusting that that very deep guidance and knowing underneath that you 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 know you're moving along you are moving along and to settle into the receiving settle into the guidance forward settle into any guidance that you have that may seem like it's going to rock the boat however it will just allow the 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 elevator this this structure to move with more grace and so rather than feeling like it has to be pulled a little bit more to the left to line up with north really allowing yourself to move through the aspects within yourself the beliefs the limited programs the fears so many fears in the collective at the moment to lift those as best you can and face them and really dig deep okay so what is it that I'm fearing where are the limits here why am I not fully lining up why is it a little bit do I need to just surrender more into the flow do I need to actually zip up my energy field a bit am I leaking energy you know all of these questions to bring you back to center again so that your flow is grace so that your flow is a movement that really aligns to your soul and there can be joy in each day there can be a breath of peace and grace and that's what they they really want to share in the energies uh, over these these weeks to receive the energy and to flow with the energy the energy will be held for you your job really is to just receive and flow with it to not fight against it to flow with it beautiful and so the team wants to share as well that if you want to look at things like strategic tactical up to operational you know your large goals and the direction that's all set for you and also your tactical direction your sort of midterm direction that's all set for you so you're really working with at an operational level being in your pillar being with the day as it unfolds managing your energy field trusting that the direction you're being guided in this flow in this horizontal tunnel horizontal tunnel or elevator is moving you forward so all you need to do and all you need to be is in yourself and the actions that need doing are the ones that you do the actions that can wait obviously will wait there's no need for you to try to figure things out or get ahead of the timeline or you know push timelines onto yourself or into this field because it'll be very challenging for you be very wasteful of your energy and it'll be a low level of success because everything is already lined up so in that sense you can relax into it it doesn't mean that there's nothing that needs doing or that you don't focus on the beingness and that you do do your energy management and you do make sure you're aligned with presence and connected to Gaia and connected to you know the the solar system and galactic energies and up to source and down to Gaia doing your pillar doing your energy work and keep moving forward with the direction that was already set out but there's no need for you to figure out very large new strategic directions in this phase because they've already been set out for you this is really weeks of moving with the flow like Ophelia said and trusting that and surrendering into it not having to know or figure it all out just trusting this part of your process yes the teams would like to share some of you that may be getting very cranky angry emotionality when doing or when being to really look into that in a divine union way with the divine feminine and divine masculine are you trying to force things forward that's the divine masculine uh sorry the personality masculine wanting to force things forward so is doing some either divine decree work belief work etc around trying to move things forward because the lower mind wants it in a in a, a faster time etc uh or the divine feminine is guiding you towards she's saying mm -mm 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 -mm. 
It's time for some nurturing. It's time for some integration. But you're forcing because it's got to get this done. I want this done. But you're cranky about it. And this can be a misalignment. And as soon as you line up with the truth of, you know what? It's time to rest. It's time to integrate, it's time to meditate, it's time to just be, read a book, be with my family, sit, receive from nature, etc, 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 to listen to some music, whatever it is, have a listen to your soul, have a listen to spirit. When that energy, that misaligned, cranky, tired, rah, rah, rah energy comes through, check in. Okay, so is this a low personality part in me, aspect in me that is just acting up? Or is it that I'm not lined up with my truth? If I just line up and listen more deeply, the divine feminine is calling to me, inviting me to come back into center, to rest to create, to be, to sit and surrender in the voidal space of our heart. Sometimes these emotionalities, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. They're just literally a message, a message. Okay, a message, a message, a message. What is this message? What is, why am I so cranky? Okay, yeah, back to divine feminine or divine masculine is kicking in and saying <clears throat> line up you know you're messing around with these personality issues or you're messing around with this 3d business line up where's your truth where is your light light this up and all it can take seconds it can take seconds of realization of yes this is my truth this is my truth this is what i need to be doing not this other 3d business that i've been mucking around with talking to someone about someone has asked me to do something that is not my truth this is my truth you see we always use the statement thou shalt not pass it's the type of masculine that is just so divine in his light very archangel michael metatron just absolutely very very clear filled with spirit and compassion but very clear boundaries and sometimes that's what it takes to come back to center as well and really listen to that voice the voice of the divine masculine the voice of the divine feminine if you follow those voices oh my goodness the joy that you will receive the alignment that you receive the grace the peace the harmony you allow the other things to drop away and you empty all of the personality debris and then you can really come into that place of yeah this is who i am this is who i am this is what i'm doing in this moment this is who i am and that's all i need to do that can wait or i will not even go forward with that movement this is my movement forward this is my flow forward you know and within that as well while you have this momentum moving forward already carrying you it's not something you need to create it's not like there's molasses and you need to move through this and it's your role to keep moving forward that momentum is already there so enjoy that momentum to also sink into your divine inner child mm. sink back into the wonder of this journey allow yourself to reach higher perspectives of your role you know your mission here within this current life allow yourself to play allow yourself to feel the joy even though your body might be tired your emotions might be stressing you out everything is stressed to the max within your energy bodies because there's so much energy moving through you and you know Gaia is ascending at record pace and everything is moving faster and faster in the timelines as well so if you're feeling that stress then use this momentum in these weeks to relax into that divine inner child and really know that there is the time for it because there's a lot of energy moving you forward in any case so then you've got the divine feminine divine masculine and divine inner child working in that balance that is so beautiful and then 
keep moving like a dancer, keep moving your way through. If it's a little bit misaligned here, then you align back a little bit and that's more your role. Allow things to move forward. Do what you need to do. Do what you want to do. Be when you need to be. It's okay if a lot of your time you are being, if you are healing, if you are enjoying life, but also do what needs to be done. So mix it all up in a way and do it not in a 3D third density way, but in a new fourth density 5D way. Mm. Understanding that it's not about how many hours that you've worked and created and produced, but it is relevant to still move forward with that. So that doesn't fall away, but it just changes in its format. Beautiful. And the divine inner child is is pure. And that's what the heart craves. The heart is this divine child to connect with that energy of, you know, making your everyday decisions from a place of purity, from a place of, of, of that lining up, not being naive, but from a place of such pure integrity, love of pure grace that it, it gives you joy once you've made the decision, because you know that even though you might, your lower mind might feel you're losing something by making this decision, because 3D says you will lose something, that feeling of knowing that you made it from such a place of love and purity and integrity, it, that, that is the gift. Just, just by making any decision from that place, from pure love and light, that fulfills the heart so much because the divine inner child is dehydrated in society. And so to fill up your divine inner child with making important decisions, but also very, 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 very trivial, seemingly trivial, basic decisions and actions and beingness in your everyday from that absolute pure innocent place it will bring so much joy so much joy all right guys so beautiful to connect we love you many 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 blessings in the weeks of this interesting cosmic dust month enjoy guys <laughs> and so many blessings we'll catch you next time lots of love lots of love